to be flawless and to be accurate, flawlessly accurate. Always seen as Baba sees. He sees me as the embodiment of all experiences. And so Baba asks the being, But have you ever experienced your own birth? Have you ever experienced your own death? The being looks at the father. and sees in the mirror of absolute silence that Baba is. That I have never actually experienced my own birth or my own death. But what I have experienced is the change of forms. In common language, known as the birth of the body and the death of the body. So yes, I have experienced birth and death, but not of myself. Then Baba asks, then what is your experience of yourself? And it's so natural to see so clearly with Baba 
in his absolute mirror of silence. I am. Aware. It's really that simple. I am. That's it. At the most I can say I am aware of the experience of the change of forms. But I am present, ever present. So then Baba asks, which means You have never experienced your disappearance. And if you have never experienced your disappearance, then that means you have never experienced your appearance. Then what is your unlimited experience of yourself? If you don't wear the limited forms of the thought or a limited form of a body, or sensations for that matter. Then your experience of yourself is You can never be absent. You are ever present. Then Baba asks, Then what about this experience of fear of losing or death or desire for gain? What is that experience?
Is that your experience of yourself? The being says no. No, Baba, it's not my experience of myself. Because the being that I am is unmoved, unchanged, ever present. So how can I ever lose anything? Then what experience is that? Asks Baba. And the being sees how appreciatively Baba is seeing those experiences also in his clean, absolute, silent mirror. He's not disparaging those experiences, not complaining about them. He's just questioning it so that I don't see them as me. He has no sense of criticism in him for those experiences which are limited. So I see why is it that Baba is so cool about it. And I see as he sees that these experiences are actually necessary. These limited nature of all these limited experiences that are ever changing. limited so that I can know my own changeless nature. I can know my own limited nature. My absolute truth. So all the experiences of duality are absolutely essential Just to know I have never disappeared and so I will never reappear just so that I know I have never died so I will never be born again.
So I know my eternal nature of my peace, eternal nature of my joy. of my absolute peace, absolute joy, absolute love. This is the essence of the whole knowledge. The entire reason Baba takes us into the details of the knowledge of the activities within the soul. Called drama in another word. It's just so that I can know I am. On silence. Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om 
just opening the chat. Mm -hmm. trying to look for the Morley we had half finished. I found it. <laughs> 23-1-89. And in that, Baba had spoken about, I'll just refresh it a little bit, revisit a little bit, where Baba had said, soul is neutral. I would say neutral is... Um, Maybe too neutral a word for the soul. <laughs> yeah, neutral is maybe too neutral because soul is uh, soul is the ocean of love and ocean of peace, right? Like Baba. Yeah. So I would see, like, uh, more you see yourself with Baba's eyes. It's like you're not inert. You're absolutely a living being. You are the living life. But it's a good question because it can come across that the soul is neutral. Does that make sense? So it's it's more like more than neutral soul is just full of and yet empty of, <laughs> full of love and peace, empty of all the limit. Empty means it, it contains everything, soul contains everything within itself. Even the feeling of emptiness is within the soul, but soul itself is not empty in that sense. It's empty of ego. Yeah. But to be complete, soul has to be empty. <laughs> Beggars or prince? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so that is why it's it's we we playing with words which are so limited. So I find it very funny. You cannot really use the words much to define the silence and the soul. <laughs> We are trying our best to define something which is beyond description. Yeah. And so in that sense, yes, the soul is um, the only word that really makes all the sense is just absolute. Nothing else makes sense. <laughs> yeah. So somebody had asked, <clears throat> does that mean that the personal the you know how the personal growth of a person does that stop once you have realized who you are what do you say mm -hmm. Once you realized who you are, there's a personal growth stopped. Stops. No. Oh, no. no. It's it just still go on. Mm. Go ahead. Keep... <laughs> hmm? Didi, because mind is learning, right? Uh, from the truth. Mm -hmm. So I think it more pol mind be or grow that mind or kya bolo, it becomes more kind of perfect I, I don't think uh, it stops mind be bulky perfect hota hai. Uh, jaise hum bolte hai na, uh, mind becomes uh, the copy of the soul because soul is in its own truth now so mind follows so even in a way uh, script also in a way it's recorded but a different script khulti hai, you know. So growth doesn't stop. Maybe outer growth, but we don't uh, measure the outer growth. But 
इस मोड ऑफ सक्सेस इन अ सोल सेंस राइट कि आपकी हैप्पीनेस बढ़ती है तो वो अगर उस सेंस में देखा जाए तो मे बी बाहर का शायद यू नो द अचीवमेंट दिखे नहीं बट द द क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ इन बाहर का नहीं दिखेगा दिखेगा लेकिन जब क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ होगी ना वो मैटर करता है राइट right? कि आप किस चीज में अपना डाल रहे हो राइट right? अगर आप बाहर की अचीवमेंट में दिखेगा It actually starts after you have reawakened. Now everything, your mind, body, everything is coming back into your act. The way you think, the way you act, the way you behave, everything is coming back into alignment with who you are. So it actually starts. Om Shanti, Diti. Om Shanti. Diti, I also feel. that once i stop really getting bothered about the character the person whether that is progressing or that is you know being uh, whatever is happening and i am more focused and contented on the soul that i am my truth i think the universe automatically takes care of the progress and the growth and like the nature grows in itself mm-hmm. so that has the it has that power to take care of itself without the interference of you know me thinking of progress or not progress yeah. yeah so that's why it's actually starting as soon as you wake up otherwise until then it doesn't start because you are trying as a person too hard yeah soul doesn't go back to factory settings no 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 <laughs> then i'm still not awake <laughs> soul is not going anywhere soul is where the soul is i am forever i am no not even the knowing knowing is the being being is the soul right the moment i wake up now everything starts happening on its own now the person the mind body is automatically reconfigure reconfiguring itself to the truth of the being it's all happening on its own after that does that mean that there's no attention no like for example um i remember there was a time when um somebody and and there are many many examples i'm sure you all can think of but there's somebody uh, who said that uh, uh who said something and because i was running out of time and in the sense the class had to be over and there wasn't that much time so kind of just dismissed what they were saying yeah <laughs> just you know how you dismiss something what they were saying <laughs> and then and then later you, you you kind of reflect and and you see that um not as a person that oh i have to be a better person what will they think about me no but from the space of that being of peace that being of respect that being of love that you are you can see that there is another way the mind and the body can act which is in alignment with your true understanding of yourself does that make sense and in that there is no sense of improving the person in that there is no sense of improving the behavior in that sense in that there is no sense of improving anything but it is a sense of bringing the mind and the intellect in alignment with your truth not that you're bringing but you're just seeing that discrepancy that your mind and intellect and sanskaras your inner kingdom just from that place of silence that you are just silence and automatically your attention on your truth 
is even deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Yeah? So, yes, we are not trying to improve the person in any way, not trying to improve the behavior of the person in any way, but you are attentive. You are you have that natural attention, not effort while attention, but natural attention. You know, I can't say, oh, I have realized myself, but my behavior is like that all the time. <laughs> no. It will reflect. It's not possible it won't reflect. It may not, it doesn't mean that it will never be that the limited act will ever happen. It never happen. No, because there are old sanskaras, which will sometimes, who knows, round the corner, it just comes and pops up. Who knows? Yeah, that will happen. But initially, it's effort while our attention. Is it okay? Um, yes, it's fine. <laughs> In the beginning, it the, that is still the mind feeling that I am making an effort and that's okay. Yeah? And that's fine. But just see that even that effort that mind is making, that effort making mind is also seen by you. There's someone who's even seeing that effort making mind. Is that making sense, uh, Jeannie? So go further back. Who's the one who's watching that effort making mind? Yes, Diti, yes. Initially, I'm actually making efforts to put my attention back to the track again and again and again and again. And at times, uh, I don't even put the attention after uh, after some time. Then I realize uh, it should not be done and I should behave like this way. But it's like, you know, it's a... Uh, Pullback is going on still. I, you can say the pushart is going on to be more attentive. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. It will feel like pushart to begin with, but as you will see, you keep stepping further back, even from this pushart okay. person. Yeah, even yeah, at times, at times, at times, uh, I guess uh, two days before you said, uh, you can see your pushart from a distance also. Yeah. So I try, I tried that also. Yeah. Yeah. So this, this is just a constant, um, what Baba is saying that attention is that really seeing yourself from the space of where Baba is. Achieve. That Matush doll layers example always keep coming in my mind. Like be a zero layer. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. 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 So, more we yeah. see and know ourselves, <laughs> Baba knows me, then it becomes easy to start from the eternal positioning of who you are. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, when you say, see that thought, what does it mean? You, the being, there so, is someone who's aware of all the thinking, right? But one thing is really good now we, uh, that now I have come out from that guilt options, guilt, uh, guilt feelings. Like wow. it's always uh, half of the day I was in, I should not do this. This is, this cannot be done from you. Like it's well, always a guilt, a slight guilt that was always there. Mm -hmm. But now I just put a full stop. It's okay. It's drama. It has to be done like this way only. It's okay. So that is actually helping me because that guilt-free situation is giving me a peace in my mind now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Initially, uh, very deep in my heart, I was scolding myself, keening, essening, essa. So that has improved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Again, that has improved for the person, but not for the soul. Soul is beyond needing improvement. Right. See, see, see. Yeah, uh, this is the basic uh, question I always wanted to ask to you. Mm -hmm. So there's a there is a very different. There is a thin line between. At times, I got confused. Ki, whether mind is thinking this, or whether this is my inner voice, like soul's voice, that I I don't understand. Ki, like, uh, if I'm 
telling myself this sh this should be done like this way no problem it's okay so then at times think ki is it mind speaking or is it baba's uh, touching so that is a confusion always please uh, mm -hmm. i really want you to clear this because uh -huh. it's a confusion is a uh -huh. daily confusion i guess uh huh yeah what baba is yeah. saying is that we are not seeing whether it's coming from ego mind or whether it's coming from baba's mind this is not the way to check right okay the way okay. to check is just to be aware of who you are and from that space seeing what is the what are the subtle impulses that are motivating that action mm -hmm. yeah like for example i'm coming to this class right let's say just now mm -hmm. right example mm -hmm. sitting here mm -hmm. sitting here in the class and i'm sitting here as oh i don't know what could be the other motive <laughs> but there could be a motive that uh, uh I have to do Baba's seva because Baba has said I must do some seva because if I don't do some seva then that means I'm not a good child of Baba because Baba says do some seva do some seva I don't know I don't no. have this thing no uh, giving an example yeah I'm yeah, not yeah, yeah. for you but it's giving an example yeah mm -hmm. or either being and being with Baba here here there means i the being am always ever present in that ever presence present being that i am an action is taking place i'm not thinking much the day doesn't happen it's okay the day it happens it's okay not thinking much about it i don't need anything any gratification or satisfaction from this action i'm not doing it because then i will feel better about myself because i did some service <laughs> no it was always like uh i just want to uh, listen you because it's making my relationship with baba more more deeper and it's like just be with you like be with you the baba you be, be with, with you baba, with baba. Yeah, yeah i just yeah baba. it's yeah. like uh, it's the only feeling that i yeah. own is exactly. i want to be with baba i want yeah. to be with you yeah so i keep on telling baba i want to be with you so i'm taking this knowledge no, because i, I want my, my uh, I was going yeah, 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 yeah. to make you understand that we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting you. The yeah, word yeah. intention. I'm not yeah, using yeah, agree, the word agree. intention on purpose because again mm. that goes into human dictionary. I'm talking yeah. about uh -huh. to really check that are the actions happening for namesake, or are mm -hmm. the actions happening to get something out of it? Because you ask this question, uh -huh. how do I know? What yeah, yeah. Coming into the, yeah. the at times, like at times, I oh, I feel that I'm sporting my albella, but at times I feel what. Yeah, I and that is the check you. you need to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I what I like... wanted to ask you. That's what I wanted to ask you. At times, I feel that Baba is saying, "Okay, okay, it's okay, baby." So at times, I feel that. Isn't the I'm sporting my albella one with this? I feel that Baba is giving yeah, me this touching, and maybe my mind is speaking only at times. This is the yeah. It is your mind yeah. speaking. Uh -huh. It is supporting yeah. care. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. it is mimicking God's voice. It's okay. <laughs> okay, it's okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the mind is mimicking okay. that God's voice. Baba, do you say that? Maya bhi Bhagwan ka roop le kar aati hai. Yes. yes. Your mind is mimicking. That it's okay. It's okay. okay. <laughs> it's not okay when it's not okay. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yeah. But it's not, Baba will not support the carelessness of the mind. Right? Yes, I know. Yes, I know. I but know. Baba does want you to see the carelessness in the mind separate from you. But not okay. as you. When you really see it, own it or disown it, okay, it's not me. And then you act upon it. Or it's me. I should feel guilty. And so that is why I should not act upon it. Both of these are kind of the game of the personal separate self. 
Yeah. There's a being can okay. see both the aspects of the carelessness, both the aspects of carelessness the being can see. And see, I'm seeing both the aspects. That's the reason I'm asking you. At times, I see myself from a distance. Ki speaking, uh, the speaking when the speaking is going on, and at times I feel distant and I, I feel detached, and I feel that this converse, conversation which was going on with Baba, which I was thinking is going on with Baba. So at times I feel I got confused. At times, is it uh, mind the... speaking to mind only? Mind speaking to mind? Or mind the... speaking to Baba? So that's why we yeah. are saying checking, self checking is the only way to find out. Okay. Yeah, okay. the only okay. way. And that is why you live the life of self introspection. Yes. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah, because Baba Om here. Shanti. Om Shanti. Yeah, yesterday, Didi, uh, I got the child ready for the school, the part child. And he was fully dressed. At the last moment, he said, uh, I don't want to go to school today. And he was like removing his uniform and everything. Uh, at that moment, a uh, little bit like pull and push was happening in the mind. But I just sat down and said, Baba, what should be done in this situation? Then immediately one thought came. Uh, Didi told you that uh, no forcing should be there. Simply one thing came into my mind and I didn't do anything. I just sat with him and I, sa I said, uh, Shvai, you have to go to school but because this is only the right thing, how you will study at home, everything, what I could make him understand, I did it politely. But he said, no. Then I said, okay, it's your decision now. Then he didn't went to the school yesterday. But later on in the evening when I was sitting uh, for the yoga, uh, that time the thought was saying, if you will do every time like this, then how the things will work. And I try to see that thoughts, that uh, this man is speaking only. But then I uh, said the only, man se baat ke aur ye bola ki, this was the only script of today, jo hona tha, wali hua, and I let it be. Usko chhod diya, and I just continued with the yoga. Is it the right way? What do you think? There was one thing that was missing, which we are seeing just not that that was wrong. Everything was right for that moment. Whatever happened was perfect and accurate. But just for now, if we see what was that one most important thing that was missing or what, what is one, maybe I, let me rephrase it. What is the one thing that we can do differently this time? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The very and the most essential and the important checking is who am I? Yeah. Who am I that is speaking to the other soul as a mother? Or is it the thought of a um as a it's like I heard the gyan, I took gyan, but on a very surface level. Does that make sense? But rather, in that moment, I sit with Baba and I see that there is this being of light and the being of light. And what are the other feelings and emotions that are feeling more real to me as I think this is me? What was your sense of self? The sense of feeling of who you are? What was that? That time when I sat with him, I sat with the same thinking. See, the soul has to tell the soul that I can do the speaking, you cannot think yourself to be a soul. You see, this is why we are saying, um, because somebody um, called me up today and they said that uh, they can intellectually say it's a drama and mm -hmm. it's all just a drama and there is a, just we are all acting our parts. But if their sense of self is not clean and clear underneath all of this knowledge, it's just some fluff. Just some fluff. Yeah? The sense of self has to be very, very clear. And that will come from truly 
living naturally as I truly am and, and letting your mind also do the churning of the knowledge. But knowing that I that is, again, that is mind's function, mind is doing it. But really knowing that you are absolutely beyond all thinking, all uh, scenarios that your mind can paint, you're beyond all the feelings that are temporary, truly giving time to yourself, the timeless one, in being totally sinking into the feelings of the father. If that time is not given by you to the timeless self that you are, which is what we were doing in meditation, not just you, okay? I'm just saying to everybody, yeah, not you. It is for everyone, yeah? And uh, it is like, it is very, very important to just be totally incorporeal. Know yourself as that incorporeal being which has no human feelings as your feelings. No human thoughts can be your thoughts. More I know that that changeless truth of who I am, more I know that... You know, because every thought, every feeling has its own experience, right? And when we are so used to just mixing ourselves with our temporary feelings and temporary thoughts, that if we really just don't spend time with who am I as just the being that is like Baba and equal to Baba and immersed in Baba and, and just his feeling is my feeling. Give you an example. There is some person who comes to this one's th uh, thought. Let's say I was driving today back from my appointment and it's a good one and a half hour drive. And I love it because it gives me a lot of time to really just sit and <laughs> just be with Baba and watch what's happening without any immersion in that, whatever is going on. Yeah. And I could see that there was a certain feeling about someone uh that my mind is interpreting as they are throwing that energy at me. Does that make sense? Some not so nice, yeah? Some jealousy or whatever it may be. And, and as soon as that face comes and I could see that they are, my mind is saying, oh, they're just so jealous of us, you know? And, and that's how my mind is speaking, <laughs> yeah? And, and then, and I'm like absolutely just, totally immersed in Baba's feeling. I'm not doing anything with that feeling. I'm not trying to change it. I'm not owning or disowning it. It just is. It just is. That's all it is. Who am I that is observing it? And what is my original feeling? Yeah? Yeah? And to know my original feeling, I am totally swimming in the ocean of Baba. Yeah? And I'm totally just like, Baba, what is your feeling? Just, just immersed in him. <laughs> because he's the cleanest mirror you can ever have. Just immersed in him. Just doob gai. Mera koi hai nahi astit wa doob gai usme. Time nahi hai. I have to attend to all of this. I only have time to attend to what's, ba what's Baba's feeling. And in that feeling, you really begin to see how something, a simple thought like that, it's just a thought. There was nothing else to it. Just a thought. And with Baba, from his feeling as my feeling, I could see that I am that constant one. My feeling is that constant love and constant peace and constant respect. And in that, I could see how my mind's feeling and respect was changing. Does that make sense? <laughs> so if your sense of self is not 100% coming from the place of Baba's feeling and Baba's way of being, Gyan is all fluff. I could have said, 
हाँ वो भी पार्ट प्ले कर रहे हैं वो भी उसका पार्ट है योर माइंड इज इज मेकिंग अप स्टोरीज एंड व्हाट नॉट व्हाट नॉट व्हाट नॉट इट्स ग्रेट आई एम नॉट सेइंग इट्स ऑल यूजफुल आई एम नॉट डिनाइंग द यूज ऑफ इट इट्स एब्सोल्युटली यूजफुल टू नो ऑल दोस थिंग्स दैट इट्स ऑल जस्ट अ ड्रामा एंड इट्स ऑल जस्ट अ प्ले एंड व्हाटएवर बट माय सेंस ऑफ सेल्फ हैज टू बी एब्सोल्युटली क्लीन एंड प्योर yeah if that is not is before, sorry before going to the action or deciding to anything just do this procedure just you have mentioned sit down and be with god yeah this is the only... first in his feeling is your feeling and if you come into action you coming we we are coming like a half baked cookie There is no other way to say it, but literally we are coming. We all are coming like a half baked cookie, applying gyan haphazardly, which is again by default. We all will probably go through it. Also, I yeah. think this was only happening because when I came to the action, when I was about to came into the action, I thought this was said to me. I will do this. That's it. Yeah. and this was said to who and who said who said who said what to who <laughs> yeah so this was said to me so then who was me that me is the being now and who said it it is baba so is baba's feeling my feeling what is baba seeing if then at that point if it need be you may even have to drop him to the school It's not like I will just make him sit at home forever if he decides never to go to school. <laughs> no, yeah, and he may be just crying when he's on the way to going to school, and you are totally untouched, unashamed, unfazed. <laughs> Your heart is still filled with joy and love and peace and beauty. was his heart is crying out at that time that's okay <laughs> does that make sense yeah yeah so it's not like yeah. we are okay just sitting on the chair doing nothing everybody just do whatever you want you want to slap. it's okay whatever what it's not like that that is not spirituality yeah ओम शांति सॉरी कैन आई आस्क वन क्वेश्चन जस्ट नाउ यू गिव वन एग्जांपल ऑफ योर्स लाइक व्हेन यू सी अ फेस पर्टिकुलर फेस अ सोल लाइक यू नो दैट एनर्जी इज कमिंग एंड दैट्स अ लिटिल जेलस एनर्जी द सेम थिंग आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क यू इफ इफ आई सी दिस थिंग um my mind would say i would try to uh, see the person face and that kind of energy but and i would try to take it out but still the mind would say it is the truth this is true means mind keeps on projecting it again and again that the That's energy is true to fixing the mind <laughs> we don't go there to fix the mind then it becomes so real that uh it becomes so difficult to see the other thing like as a truth sitting with baba again the thing starts to come in the mind like a that's okay why is the what is what is the occurrence and activity in the mind why is it who is it bothering firstly not why but who is it bothering the activity of the mind who is being bothered by the activity of the mind that is why knowing one's absolute self which is silent which does not know how to speak the more i see baba i know me as a being who does not have words who does not have thoughts language is not my language my language is silence more i'm with baba more i see this very very clearly and more i see this very clearly more all the talking and the thinking and the speaking and the languaging of the mind feels absolutely unreal and fake 
ये स्थिति लाइक समटाइम्स दैट दैट फीलिंग एंड दैट थिंग ट्रूली गोज अवे बट इट डजन लास्ट फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम अगेन आई सी the same thought It's would okay. come in some yeah i've been having this thought of this person uh, from last 3 4 days or last one week and i can see this coming and going coming and i am not bothered jab jana hoga tab chala jayega pura all i know is each time it comes i just need to be very very alert not lazy very alert that is my nature that is who i am either being don't just drown in the world of dreams of my mind does that make sense and yes, i'm seeing its frequency is becoming less but even when it was more i was still me even if it is less it's still me and when it's gone it will still be me does that make sense ekta yes didi <clears throat> but why this kind of uh, energy we feel didi what why it's happening like is it truth is point or... going there does it help real <laughs> no it doesn't make much <laughs> when it persists now we start to question mind also starts to question a lot <laughs> yeah mind will say why is it like that why do they feel like this there is no why there why what when where how you are stuck yes that's yeah. right yeah thank you didi thank yeah. you <laughs> and because baba just wants us to know okay you see this just understand this is the nature of the limited mind and the finite mind has to behave this way there is nothing wrong with it it is only behaving because it has to change all the time no how else would you know your changeless feeling unless it changes that's hmm? right didi yes yeah. didi got so there is once we understand um the nature of the separate self the separate identity more and more this personal identity is made of thoughts and feelings which are constantly changing and and more and more you know your silent nature and you're aware of the constantly changing feelings mind is only labeling it as not so nice and really nice and i want don't want this feeling and i really want the other feeling which is not there i want to feel love for that soul that in itself is a form of limited identity yes very true didi yes mind is always doing like that you should yeah. love the soul uh, that soul has nothing to do with you yeah. so yeah. many gyan points start yeah. to come in the mind because we are conditioned to think all the time our minds are conditioned to think so now it's just thinking gyan all the time instead of thinking gyan stop yes didi hai na we all have to go back to who we are without any talk because gyan rationalization is a very common way maya uh, person mind traps us no i trap the person mind poor person mind has no life i the being give life to that separate identity mind <laughs> yeah this acceptance and this allowance the uh, it takes some time <laughs> because mind is always giving a resistance uh, to all the that's okay even it's going to take time can you see yourself beyond this thought yes didi yes uh, so you are the one who's even seeing this thought it's going to take time and then what is the other thought you said your mind said rather yes <laughs> it's it's a old habit it's okay who's the one who's ultimately free of all of this you are that ever present being who's present even to this constantly changing shifting experiences shifting in nature constantly and as we said in meditation it's absolutely necessary and important that we have these changeful experiences otherwise we will not know our changeless absolute truth so it doesn't matter how it feels in the body doesn't matter how it feels in the mind doesn't matter how it feels it's just another changing feeling not good or bad just another changing feeling 
who am I that is observing it and with whom am I observing it? Is that one judging? Is that one wanting to get rid of that feeling? No, Baba is not. Baba, if one of them will start to get rid of it, he will be busy in any other mind. Yes, very true. And the this is why Baba's company is so pivotal. You know? Yeah. So this is thank why you, Baba. Yeah, thank you, Baba. And then here Baba is saying, so don't pay as much attention. You don't pay as much attention as you should. Right? So pay full attention. Full attention becomes just attention. And after that, what happens? Then attention becomes many types of tension. Hmm? Baba is saying just natural. When it's really your true nature, that is the essential nature of the being. It's just pure silent attention. Like someone called me up and complained, why did you say in meditation for three days, don't talk to Baba, don't talk to Baba, don't talk to Baba. <laughs> then how do I live without talking to Baba? I'm so disturbed now when I can't talk to Baba. It's just the mind talking to the... Yeah. That was the reason. We said, until we understand our silent nature, which I just am, and everything else is an activity of the experiences which are temporary, transient, fleeting experiences which are coming and going, Every thought is bringing with it its own world of experiences. So until I know I just am a being. Uske baad lagana nahi hai, being to bol rahe hai, but I just am. Just am. Naturally. And everything else exists as an activity within me and then it manifests out of me. then my true essential nature will automatically from that background will come into foreground. It will bubble up and come into foreground. You know? That is why Baba is saying the second precaution is that Baba gives you the right to be the master of yourself. Did you hear this? Let me read this again. <laughs> okay. The second precaution is that Baba has given you the right to be the master of yourself, that of being the creator. Instead of being the creator, you consider yourself to be the creation. So I consider myself to be my thoughts, feelings, emotions, sensations, memories, everything. <laughs> That is just something that is coming up spontaneously from my mind. Because I am, my mind can also get activated. My intellect can also activate. Sanskaras can activate and come into play. Because I am. Yeah? So Baba is saying that... And then Baba is saying that creation and that is the body. Body means body and mind. Both, right? When you forget your state of being the creator, Maya becomes the creator of body consciousness, De Abhiman. Abhiman means mind and body. Yeah, that is of the creation. That means that she claims a right. No one can have a right over the creator. Please underline this. No one can have a right 
over the creator. Can anything have right over you? Can any thought claim you? Any feeling claim you? Any memories consume you? <laughs> any experience consume you? So Baba is saying, no one can have a right over the creator. No one can be the master of the one who is to be the master of the world. Not just the outside world, the inner world also. No one can be your master. And today we are allowing a thought to rule us. Forget the world. We are allowing a thought to rule us. Or a feeling to rule us. Hmm? So what is Baba saying? You are the master. No one can be your master. No one can rule you or create you. This is also what Baba is saying. No one can create you, have a right over you, the creator. So you can't be created. So more you're with Baba, more subtle your awareness of who you are becomes. Now you can really see everything that is just, they are not pulling, but you are feeling yourself appearing to be pulled by it. Yeah? But it's just an experience within you. What's wrong with any experience? Nothing wrong, no? Nothing wrong. And the easy checking for it is what? One thing you can do. Easy checking. What is it? Practically. Practically in life. I'm talking about whilst playing the drama. Your part. What is the easy way to check? Maybe who am I? Who am I? Uh huh. But practically, whilst playing your part, what is the easy way to check? Mister, what are we checking? How do we check that I, the being, am allowing the mind to pull me? Because you're becoming that, or your exchange, you are, you see the things outside are constantly changing. They're not static. And you feel that, not feel, and you could see that you're getting pulled into it. And you're not feeling your own truth, you're not feeling your timeless being, you're not feeling, not feeling, you're not in that awareness of who you are. You're getting pulled into that. Mm -hmm. Need I mean, to change it. The question was, um, how do you check that practically, how can you know that something is getting something you are allowing yourself to be pulled by the mind? When there is a need to change it. When there is a need to change it. Very close. When you are the <laughs> discomfort, you, you are not feeling your original qualities of peace and love and your, your eternal qualities. Then you know that it's your contrast. It's not you. You're not having that love, that peace. Uh, like or how Baba would feel it. But you're experiencing that, but knowing that it's not your experience, but when you feel that that experience is you, so there is no need to change, but you're accepting it as, it, as is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. You are the soundless one, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes sound pulls. 
वो आवाज अपनी लगती है राइट देवाश्री जी ओम शांति आत्मा है ही एक रस स्थिति कुछ भी एक्स्ट्रा मिल रहा है चाहे खुशी है चाहे दुख है वो मैं हो ही नहीं सकती एक्स्ट्रा चीज को आत्मा सम पकड़ लिया वो मैं आत्मा हो ही नहीं वो सब मन का खेल है मैं तो निरंतर एक रस स्थिति में हूँ एक्स्ट्रा वाला चीज को दिखाई देता है अनकम्फर्टेबल भी फीलिंग्स भी कम्फर्टेबल का फीलिंग्स भी ना सब कुछ सामने दिखाई दे रहा है ऐसे या वेरी क्लोज वेरी क्लोज या इट इज लाइक यू नो इन दिस मोमेंट दिस अ सेंस ऑफ एंड यू कैन सी इट इवन इन योर एक्शन आई वांट टू गेट टू द नेक्स्ट एक्शन क्विकली व्हाट एवर आई एम डूइंग आई वांट टू फिनिश इट एंड आई वांट टू गेट टू द नेक्स्ट एक्शन या सो आई डोंट वांट टू बी even physically where i am i want to be in the next action so let's say for example if i'm washing dishes i want to finish them quickly and i want to go to the laundry <laughs> you're not enjoying the now yeah you're not enjoying the now you're not being the now that you are at work it happens a lot <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So, sister, can we take your example? Like you said, you saw the feeling of jealousy, mm -hmm. right? So, what is it if there was a contrast of if you were not getting pulled into it versus getting pulled into it? So that could also help clarify. So, to if you saw the contrast, that, I have to be part of my mind. Right. Like you said, experientially. how would there be a difference so if you could take that example of your jealousy incident like you could see your mind was portraying jealousy no my how mind would it be if you were jealous of me that's what it was seen okay so if you could take that as an example to see if you were pulled into it how would it be the next step in that scenario you would if like I to change it. it i would be like then trying right. to change the feeling of jealousy then i would Could be on point into yeah. it or so reason it out reason, reason it, it out to rationalize it and logicalize it and really make the mind quieten down and make it understand why it's not the right way and that maybe your illusion may not be it's that one thing and feeling like that maybe it's just you thinking like that <laughs> all the rationalization will be there right that's what will be there All different rationalizations. मतलब पूरी ज्ञान की किताब सामने खुल जाएगी या एंड दैट इज इन अ वे अ वेरी ज्ञानी वे ऑफ सप्रेसिंग सेंटर वीकेंड एंड बाबा वर्स सेंग यू नो वन यूर वेस्ट थॉट्स फॉर अ स्टॉप यू नो you know change and don't waste time and change those thoughts and then there was some conversation happening and i uh, was saying that you know you don't have to like we just see it we watch it from a distance we detach ourselves seeing it with baba mm -hmm. and there was a dip, there was another school of thought where they were saying and they said their practices that they have to get to the root of it to the seed of the jealousy and burn it and rather than watching and the example they were giving that what if your children are tumbling things upside down you know they're in a room they're trashing everything and are you just going to watch it and not stop them because this is what your mind is doing then so you know so there was like you know so it was uh, there are many thought right like many schools of thought and i'm not going to sit and criticize them for sure but i'm glad you're sharing it because then we can see it from a very detached perspective yeah right so that is one school of thought you go into the detail of the emotion root cause the, the root underlying cause issues of the emotion, and then you really try to finish it off there yeah it may work for them i don't know it's never worked for me 
because for me it's like if I'm going into the detail of a disease rather than the treatment then I'm actually more trapped in the disease that's how it's always worked for me I'm not saying anything about them it works for them it's perfect yeah what works for me it's not about who is watching mother is watching if the soul is the mother not a person yeah it's like that the mother will let the child tumble, as was said. If the child is playing with something and will the mother let... If the mother is coming out of emotion, trying to fix the child, the child will fight back. Yeah? But if it is really the soul, and when Baba is saying putting a full stop, just means that I, the being, know I am a point... Rather than Rini as a separate self, person, identity, putting a full stop, I am the Swarup of a point. And in that, what one finds, mind automatically, your interest okay. is not there because what is feeding the mind is your interest. What is feeding the mind is your importance you're giving to it. Right. So once I understand, at least what I have found, once I understand that when I'm not taking interest in what my mind is doing and saying and what my mind is not giving it importance to whatever it is proposing, it has nowhere to go but to merge back in me. Yeah. And this I say Baba calls it equivalent of, I think Baba said two days ago, Sunday Murli. Ek -ek sanskar ko ke ge kya? <laughs> so sister here, yeah, this is, you know, was trying to explain and then didn't go further into yeah, don't know, do anything it. like that. Yeah. Please. So didn't don't want to go. get into that and did explain that even Baba is bound by the drama. Yeah. The thought came in Baba's mind and that's when Baba comes yeah. for his children. So the we all have a pre-recording, you know, the soul. Yeah. There's a recording and the thoughts and the feelings and everything is yeah. part of it. Yeah. So instead of just going, cleaning, getting into the root, it's so tiring effort. So isn't that, you know, being with Baba's company and as Murli Baba said, be in my company constantly and then see that. Mm -hmm. And then so it was, so I just wanted to share and see, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, no. See, they have their understand. positive and it, it is right for them for now. Right? That's what works for them for now. And it is just right for them for now. Yeah? Each one has to go through their own uh, particular, uh, you know, stage of effort. So it is just right for them. There is no judgment because that's that's what works for them for now. Who knows how it will evolve later? We don't know. Right? So we don't argue thinking I am right, they are wrong, and let me just fix them because their understanding is just not accurate. <laughs> Or letting my mind becoming more doubtful. Does that make sense? See what works for you and let others also and their thing work for them. Right. Because they were saying that you have to apply a point of knowledge. You have to change. You have to get to the bottom of it. You have to, because then you have to be knowledgeable about them. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. And so, in yeah. any way, they're not wrong either. Who is applying the point of knowledge? The point itself or the separate self? The one whose embodiment of knowledge will never feel I have applied the point of knowledge. Yeah? For them, it will be very natural that it's as though Baba has given and it got used. I didn't use anything. It's not my power. It's Baba's powers are being used. There is no ownership of anything. Yeah. Otherwise, Rini, the effort maker, I have to apply this. I have to do this. And which is great. It works because it is very useful step to begin with. You know, it's very useful to begin with. It's important. These steps are also important. Yeah. So we really come from that place of not because I'm better and my practice is more evolved. No, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Yeah, so no, just wanted to share it because it was like, uh huh, you know, it was in the center. I'm like, 
but then the mind was saying oh my god they're so senior and filled it uh-huh. like that the little ego was going ah ours is better you know so yeah and that's um, our checking over there even in that yeah checking. yeah, yeah it, it kind of came i could see that mind was kind of you know boosting the ego kind of a thing you know yeah. ours is better you know yeah <laughs> yeah so that's the checking that needs to be done so see how beautiful if their part had not played that way that sanskara would have been dormant in me and i would never have been able to see it from the space of my power and truth yeah that's all <clears throat> so it's, so that is why it's wonderful there's no higher or lower in understanding there's no better or worse in understanding it's what works for each one at a different stage and that is all it is really yeah yeah thank you thank you for sharing but it's and that is why it's like um baba is telling us that baba wants us to feel equal to him yeah and that is right for us because that's how we see it so baba wants us to see equal to him baba wants us to see that uh, we see other souls also equal to him <laughs> right and baba wants us to see all souls beyond their language and beyond their mind their script is accurate for them <laughs> yeah so so we do what baba wants right and we really feel what baba is feeling and that is all really one needs to pay attention to just baba and i thank you <laughs> thank you so baba is saying this, that that means that the claims uh, that she claims a right no one have a right over the creator no one can be the master of the one who's the master of the world however then what happens you become the creation in front of maya you become dependent on a thought to make you feel good bracket men do we become dependent on a thought and a feeling to make us feel good <laughs> do we depend on the mood of the mind to feel good <laughs> no very good no yeah mind ka mood it sometimes happen to the aha so now what will happen from now on the mind has its own mood we the souls are in our constancy of mood. watching the mood of the mind watching means not constantly watching it saw it acknowledge it and immersed in baba that's all not running away from it i saw it stranger i don't know what it is i mean i know and i don't know i know but i don't know i see but i don't see i hear but i don't hear you know and i just am immersed in baba and his feeling it's really a place of immense power yeah it's just like a cloud just like a cloud <laughs> we sometimes uh, we sunk in it in it and uh... Uh, today what happened today i sat with the in the amrit vela and there are lot of uh, thoughts are coming uh, the irritation anger and uh, uh, jealousy so mm-hmm. i just <laughs> get in it and get up and uh, just walk <laughs> that's okay so from now on what will you see irritation anger jealousy still very much feeling like my own experience and me that's what is happening that means that the knowing of who i am is needs to be paid more attention to yeah knowing your silent truth the being that is a silent being which is carrying the fragrance of peace love joy within itself without changing itself yeah so paying more attention to your truth and really that can come only from interest okay interest importance and attention 
A I A. <laughs> Interest, attention, and importance. A I A. Interest, attention, and importance. And that will come from understanding more and more each time these feelings come up. On behalf of who are these feelings coming up? Who am I that is aware of these feelings? Yeah? And how do they feel in the body? Just seeing it as another experience, right? That is all. And then seeing who am I that is aware of it? And on behalf of who is irritation coming up? Not why there is irritation and analyzing it. No. On behalf of who is irritation coming up? Hmm? On behalf hey, dissatisfaction of... Dissatisfaction is coming. Uh, yes, yeah. 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 He wo feeling se satisfaction nahi hai na? Yeah. That's okay. Mm -hmm. That's fine. On behalf of who is there dissatisfaction with this existing feeling also? This is time giving to yourself time. This is how you're giving yourself time. Not just being one with the mind. See, when, when there's a subject-object experience, today we see Baba as an object and I, Rini, as a subject. But now what Baba okay. is saying, you become one with me, with my feelings, my the way I feel, the way I see, the way I know, the way I experience, become one with me. Become the subject that I'm showing you that you are. And then from there, you see all the thoughts, feelings, emotions, sensations as an object. But we are becoming one with this and seeing God as some kind of an experience I should have. Some peaceful feeling is an experience I should have. So we're becoming one with the object of our thoughts, our, of our temporary experiences. So I have become part of the objective experience. Yeah. Gee. So what Baba is saying now, you be the subject like I am, you are. And from there, see all the objective experiences. So don't combine with the mind, combine with God. Who? The you, the real you, who's carrying this entire world of thoughts, feelings, and emotions within you. Yeah, that is it. Yeah. Thank you, dear. Thank you, Baba. Wonderful. So let's take a moment and really know our essential nature cannot be changed. This has to be really accepted, not forcefully but knowingly with Baba. Nothing about you can move. Nothing about you can change. Nothing about you can be here or there in space. Nothing about you can be more or less in your worthiness or unworthiness. They don't apply to you. Nothing about you can be past or future. Because for you, in a way, you have never experienced time. Time is non-existent for you. It's just a concept for you. So really knowing oneself as that being with Baba and from experience, not just because somebody said so and you believed it. But if you really look at your experience, even right now, If I were to ask you, who's the one that has experienced all these changing experiences?
that is experiencing happiness and sorrow, that is experiencing likes and dislikes. If you were to just answer one question to God, who are you? What would you say? Would you say I am Rini in my case? Would you say I am Rini? Or whatever the name of your body is? Would you say if Baba was to ask you, who are you, that I am all these experiences I had? No. What would you say to God if Baba was to ask you, who are you, child? If you are not your name, not your experiences, not your body, who are you? Mind is going to jump to the answer soul. Is that word also you? And you know you cannot be defined in words, your pure silence. Just on. Soundless sound. Within which this immense amount of activity. So more you see experientially who you are, Not that intellectual experience or the experience that is constantly changing, moving and shifting. Not that kind of experience. But a pure knowing. The one who encapsulates all the experiences, finite experiences within the self, all the limited experiences within the self, himself being unlimited. That unlimited ever present being is me that can never be absent can never disappear or appear. Just know this truth very deeply. And as it is true for you, it is true for all. So your peace, your love is never absent and neither is the peace, love, joy, bliss absent in any other being. Never is it absent. It's ever present.
No soul is its limited experiences. Just pure being. Pure presence. One with God. Om Shanti Ji. Thank you, Baba. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Baba. Thank you.